How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today our topic is on understanding the wrong work of our body centers, which are the intellectual, emotional, and instinctive moving centers. In a recent video, I'll put the link in the description box below, we talked about the importance of observing and really knowing your centers because doing so gives us a lot of self-knowledge. By properly observing our centers, we can determine how conscious we are being in the moment. We can see if our centers are doing their appropriate work and the quality of energy that they are using by understanding the different levels of our attention in relation to our centers. We also went into how our centers can be further subdivided into their own intellectual, emotional, and instinctive moving parts along with each center having a positive and negative half. And in previous videos, we also established that our inner space is inhabited by various eyes. These eyes live in smaller or larger divisions of our centers. This means we have more mechanical or less mechanical eyes. In the small divisions, in the mechanical or automatic parts of our centers, you will find all the various eyes that control our ordinary day-to-day -day life. So our day-to-day -day life is run by very little mechanical eyes. These little eyes should be our servants and not our masters, as we have eyes of a higher power and quality. And these little eyes in us, they are not capable of understanding higher knowledge. They are very limited and therefore cannot change. These little eyes we use for our day-to-day -day life they are occupied with little things and are in the mechanical parts of our centers, so they are useful for only doing little things. But some people only live in these little parts of themselves, so they are incapable of understanding anything that doesn't belong to their immediate small interests. And these ideas of higher knowledge, they need to fall on the bigger eyes, the parts in us that can properly value and appreciate these ideas and allow them to take root in our being. At the beginning level of studying the wrong use of our centers, we learn, for example, that to use our intellectual center for, let's say, running down a mountain quickly, this would be the wrong use of our center and cause us to fall as the intellectual center is much slower than the instinctive moving center. Anyone who plays sports knows that once you have intellectually learned a new move and practice enough, you don't need to think about it anymore. Your muscle memory can do complex movements automatically and efficiently. We also need to see when we are using the right part of a center in relation to the task we may be engaged in. For example, we use the intellectual for complex comparisons the moving for complex movements, the emotional for seeing into the quality of things, the hidden meanings that our intellectual center doesn't catch. But as we mentioned earlier, the main centers are subdivided further into parts with each having its own proper place and function. For example, let's take the mechanical part of the intellectual center. This part should only do the work of registering memories impressions from our senses, and associations. It should be like a faithful secretary of just registering and recording. It shouldn't decide anything important for our lives, but for many people, this part is always replying to questions with ready-made canned responses, just like a robot. And when someone lives in the mechanical parts of his intellectual center, he will not change he will always see life in a fixed kind of way, saying and doing the same things over and over again. But if he begins to work on becoming more balanced, more balanced in his centers, he will be contacting the more conscious part of his centers, these being the emotional and intellectual parts of his centers. A balanced person has to some extent developed all of his centers and this distributes his energy and brings his inner life into a more harmonious space. If these ideas only fall on the mechanical parts of our centers, 
the little eyes we use for our ordinary day-to-day -day life, they will not have the proper soil to grow. For the little mechanical parts in us, only what they can see or touch is real. But our self-development work, our spiritual work, deals with what can't be seen, our inner psychic world. So these higher ideas must be thought about with attention. Because as I mentioned in a previous video, it is with controlled and directed attention that we situate ourselves in the more conscious part of our centers. This reminds me of a teaching by Jesus where he said, Don't give your pearls to swine because they will trample over them. Here, pearls represent higher wisdom. So don't give your higher wisdom to people who only live in the mechanical parts of their centers. Otherwise, your pearls will not touch them in any meaningful way and will just be trampled over. So it is very important that we learn to listen and call up those parts in us that can properly value these higher ideas for our spiritual growth, the parts in us that care about our spiritual work and learn to nourish and feed these parts. We can't let these ideas be lost in our purely mechanical associative thoughts that occupy our mind. We need to become more balanced and learn to control and direct our attention in order that we make the proper connections and allow these ideas to take root and transform our being. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's topic. Stay tuned. I will continue to elaborate on all of these ideas. Thanks for tuning in, whether it's on YouTube or through the podcast. I really appreciate it. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.